Welcome to Jerry's Best Cafes in Korea. It's a freezing cold but sunny Sunday here in Korea. So let's head out and find some of the best cafes. I've picked three cafes to visit today. We're in the greater Hongdae area right now. And the first cafe is called Stan's Coffee. This one is really popular these days, so not sure if we're going to be able to get a seat. But the exterior is simple enough and nobody waiting outside, so that's a good sign. Inside, it's absolutely packed with people. Loads of couples and just friends hanging out. I'm actually here alone today, which is fine. So they've got a bunch of cakes in the fridge, kind of standard roll cakes and cheesecakes and that kind of thing. And some croffles on the front desk, and you can see they're making them fresh. The menu is quite expansive, and I go for the Almond Bloom coffee. And also a croffle on the side. It's been forever since I had a croffle. Croffles were super trendy a couple years ago here in Korea. So they bring it over to my table. Check out the cream head on top of this coffee. It looks so cool. And the croffle is coated in some kind of syrup. So it's super sweet, like most things here. Now it's time to play with my food, of course. Loads of cream on top of this coffee. And they give you a little placard, which actually tells you to mix it in before you drink it, which can be a little bit tricky. Somebody tell me, is there a way to drink a really creamy coffee without getting cream all over your face, because I have no idea. Every time I drink this kind of thing, I end up with a creamy mustache, which as soon as I drank it, I realized I didn't have any tissues, so I had to go up and ask for some tissues. Already making a fool of myself in the cafe, but who cares? If you've never had a croffle before, it's literally just a croissant that's been put in a waffle iron, so it's been waffleized. And they come in so many different variations these days. I just got a plain one, but because I have this creamy coffee, I thought it'd be good to dip the croffle into the cream of the coffee. Anyway, let's keep it moving. Now it's time to check out the second cafe of the day. This one is called Devo Coffee and Churros. They specialize in churros. Churros are extremely popular here in Korea. There are so many different churros, cafes, and restaurants. This place still has all their Christmas decorations up. It's actually coming into mid-January now, but they're still going for the Christmas theme. When do you usually take down your decorations? This place is super cozy inside, and again, I thought I wouldn't be able to get a seat, but I was lucky. So many cute little Christmas decorations. It's very eclectic inside. Lots of things to look at. And they even have a little courtyard area outside. It's about minus five, minus six degrees here today, so no chance. So after ordering, they give you a little buzzer and you have to wait for it to go off. Again, I came alone, so they gave me the smallest seat ever. Reminds me of a naughty chair at school. So the buzzer goes off, which means it's time to pick up the food and drink. The minimum quantity of churros is five whole churros, which is way too much for one person, I think. At least for me, it's impossible that I can finish five churros as a snack. I went for plain churros and an ice americano. The churros are coated in like sugar and cinnamon and stuff, so they're pretty good. First time to try the churros. Again, it's been a while since I've had churros, so this is a nice little treat. They make them fresh in the store, so they're super crunchy and hot. The ice americano was good, pretty kind of dark flavor, and a little bit bitter, but I love bitter tastes and it's a nice balance with the super sugary churros. In this shot, you can see just how tiny this table and chair was. It's actually hilarious. It's nice that they have solutions for solo diners here. I don't usually go out alone that much, but it's pretty comfortable if you are just kind of cafe hopping alone on a Sunday and you can just chill in the corner. <laughs> it does feel like the naughty corner just a little bit. So I made some good progress on these churros, probably ate, you know, one or two before I got full. And then I totally gave up on eating the churros and asked for um, a takeout box. So just ended up eating a couple more on the way to the next cafe. Cafe number three today. This cafe is called Gongmyung, and it's really popular for its brick exterior. They're really smart with this. The exterior itself is a photo zone. So, so many people come here and take pics and then tag the place and it makes it even more popular. It's quite a large and I believe newly built place. However, a Sunday in Seoul, you're definitely not guaranteed a seat at all. There are plenty of seating outside, but it's again, so cold today. I don't think anyone is brave enough to sit outside. So going in the big glass door, they have this nice counter, huge variety of cakes, mainly scones. And in the fridge, more scones. Uh, there's some kind of cream filled, jam filled, chocolate filled, they've got matcha scones, so many different variations of scones. Of course, scones are British, but in Korea, they have way more variation than you can find in England, which is quite ironic. And now the challenge of searching for a seat. So 
absolutely full inside as I suspected. It's nice, they actually have a huge rooftop here and the heaters were off so I couldn't make use of it but it was nice just to come up and get some footage and you can see where we are in Seoul. Absolutely full of buildings, a very built up area and this would be really nice in summer actually to sit out here, maybe if they have some shade. You can see there's still snow on the ground, it's been snowing a lot recently and some brave people outside. So I go to the counter and I'm like, where's the menu? And it turns out the menu is written on the spines of some books on a bookshelf. Again, these cafes always finding just interesting, quirky ways to present themselves. So I got the buzzer and then wait for my order to come out. And here you can admire some other people's orders, a lot of kind of creamy coffees and cream filled scones and buns. So it's starting to get dark here. It gets dark around 5.30 these days. And because it's so cold outside, the girl at the counter actually gave me a hot pack, which should keep my hands warm. They do have outside heaters, but they're not super, super powerful. You can see I went for a matcha latte, and this is actually a hot one. I usually go for ice drinks, but it's just so cold, it's impossible. So time to hang out a little bit at the front of the cafe. And uh, first, let's get this hot pack going. I didn't realize you actually need to take it out of the plastic and then do this. So this is kind of for no reason, but I figured it out eventually, don't worry. Now for a taste test, this is a really good matcha latte and it makes for a nice alternative when you've already had a bunch of coffees throughout the day. And after a few minutes sitting outside in like minus five, minus six degrees, I slowly, slowly start to turn to ice. But I really wanted to visit this cafe today and make a video, so I had no choice, absolutely no seating inside. So that's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. The plan is to make this into a mini series and just go around finding the best cafes and making little videos like this for you guys. Thanks for supporting and liking, commenting and subscribing, of course.